Don't forget to subscribe like this channel okay? Veiled beneath the Audi A7's elegant design and fancy tech is a practical midsize sedan with class. Behind its enormous hexagonal nostril sits a 335 horsepower turbocharged V6 that huffs down the roadway with ease. Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system is standard as well as a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Although not as fiery as the 444 horsepower S7 performance version, the A7 does deliver admirable scoot. Its hatchback layout skips the confines of a traditional trunk lid, allowing for easier stowage of cargo while adding to the A7's sophisticated looks. Commendable build quality at each seam and stitch inside the A7 makes it feel like a wise choice to even the most detail-oriented of passengers, while the Mercedes-Benz E-Class pours the premium ambience on a little thicker and the Genesis G80 does a better job of sticking out from a crowd, the A7 is a mighty practical form of luxury. Audi gives the A7 a visual refresh for 2024. The updates are only skin deep, with revised front and rear bumper covers, new wheels, and an updated S-Line interior package. New paint options, such as Arcona White and Madeira Brown Metallic, are also new this year. Audi has also added Olive Tree Natural and Ash Volcanic Grey Natural as new wood inlay stylings for the interior. Audi's virtual cockpit is now standard, which uses a 12.3-inch infotainment screen. We'd recommend the Premium Plus model, which has more desirable standard features and available options than the base trim level does. The Plus comes standard with adaptive cruise control, headlights with snazzier matrix design accents and automatic high beams, futuristic-looking taillight animations, a high-end Bang Olufsen sound system, and lane-keeping assist. Additionally, the Premium Plus has standard luxuries such as heated front seats, leather upholstery, a power-operated hatchback, and a panoramic sunroof. We'd increase the A7's luxury levels a little more by choosing the driver and executive packages. This combination is highlighted by the addition of four-zone climate control, heated rear seats, and ventilated front seats. The A7 standard powertrain is a turbocharged V6 that makes 335 horsepower and 369 pounds to foot of torque. That power is delivered to Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The A7 standard V6 powertrain also uses a 48-volt hybrid assist system that minimizes turbo lag and aids stop-slash-start operation. During everyday driving, we appreciated the Audi's effortless quickness. Its sophisticated all-wheel drive system provided excellent traction in wet and dry conditions. The automatic transmission intelligently reacted to both relaxed and energetic throttle inputs. Audi expertly blends luxury and agility on the A7. Its enthusiastic responses and supple ride quality immediately stood out while we were behind the wheel. Despite our test car's optional 21-inch wheels, the expected thuds from harsh impacts went almost unnoticed. Its suspension was equally successful at limiting body motions. The steering response was linear, with adjustable heft available in different drive modes, but it never shouted about what the front wheels were doing. The two A7 models we tested had impressive stopping power, with emergency braking distances of 157 feet and 163 feet. The A7 with the standard Turbo 6 earned fuel economy ratings of 21 miles per gallon city and 30 miles per gallon highway from the EPA. These numbers closely align with sedan rivals such as the BMW 540i X-Drive, 23 miles per gallon city and 31 highway, and the CLS 450, 22 city and 29 highway. The V6-powered Audi we tested greatly exceeded its highway rating, earning an impressive 36 miles per gallon on our 75 mile per hour fuel economy route, which is part of our extensive testing regimen. The CLS 450 also returned 36 miles per gallon during our highway test, and the Bimmer achieved 34 miles per gallon. For more information about the A7's fuel economy, visit the the A7's interior has impeccable fit and finish and is highlighted by attractive materials and sturdy switchgear. Every cabin has ambient interior lighting, heated front seats, leather seating surfaces, a panoramic sunroof, three-zone climate control, and more. However, they're controlled solely through the touchscreens, which is annoying. The A7 also provides a satisfying driving position that is complemented by excellent outward visibility. Rear seat passengers receive climate controls, power points for charging devices, and even heated seats, which are all optional. While the back seat comfortably accommodates two adults, three full-size frames would be cramped. 
Underneath the A7's useful power operated lift bag, we fit seven carry on bags behind its split folding rear seat. The car also held 20 bags of luggage with the seats folded flat. Likewise, we managed to fit a golf bag and stroller in the cargo area. Unfortunately, the A7 has mediocre interior cubby space, the front door pockets are narrow, and the center console has a small bin. Every A7 features a dazzling infotainment system with dual touch screens that seamlessly integrate into the dashboard and center console. The large icons are easy to locate and the haptic feedback is satisfying, but the setup is undeniably distracting because they often require the driver to take their eyes off the road. Standard content includes Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto integration and a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot. Desirable options are two powerful Bang Olufsen premium sound systems and wireless smartphone charging. Thank you for those who have subscribed and